not stand still. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. I said, are certain to miss the future. <laughs> oh, no. I missed that. Prime Minister Castro, this missile crisis was the last straw. We almost blew ourselves up. Now, we invited you here today. In good faith. In good faith. To sort this thing out. And why is he here? He lost. As I always say, forgive your enemies, but remember their names. Now, gentlemen, as I like to think, in the long history of the world, that there are only a few generations. Sounds like someone breaking in. It's just a storm, Dick. Sit down. Oh, my God! It appears the Pentagon has been breached. Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be and has to be massive to deter all forms of aggression. Gentlemen, lock and load. Any last words, Mr. President? Yes, Jack. Any superlative words of inspiration for our humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. Power level critical. Major systems offline. Uh, can we go find the power switch? Welcome to Zombies. This is the new Black Ops zombie map, which you get after completing the campaign. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a good start in this map. And this is solo play, and you can play up to four players, of course. But I'm playing on my own at the moment. Just keep that. And this is a tactic that I devised to help other people. Right, to get a zombie at the start, I'm shooting five times in the stomach and slash to the head. That gives you maximum points for a zombie, basically. So, then you want to get them. Oh, I've got things to kill here. Okay, machine gun here is what you want to get later on when you've got a thousand points. So you have to wait for next level. Well, and build your barricades up as well, because you can only build so many barricades and get so many points for so many barricades. As you can see, the ten points are arriving on my screen at the bottom here. points now for the barricades. I've used them all. There he goes. Another hundred points and I get my machine gun. Six times because it's level two. Six times to the stomach. So shooting the stomach six times. It's level two. There he is. And he dies with a knife. So basically, um, it's five times for level one. Pass the ammo, please. I said. And you please. add one bullet per level. Uh, people who like because this the thing will find this is the sort of thing they like. So this one here, I've just got to pick him one because this gun's more powerful. I just need to hit him once, one clip, and I stab him, and he goes down. So I get the points for the kill. You get more points per zombie. And I've got the machine gun, and I've got 800 points on level two. Double yeah, I've got double points. That's even better. Uh, who said that? Right. This is a good defensive position down here for the start of the game. Down here, the zombies can come through quite quick, so you want to build your barricades up here. If you can shoot them in the head, shoot them in the head, because you get more points for shooting them in the head, less ammunition. Oh yeah, I've just built that barricade. I'm not the best of shots, but there we are. <laughs> oh. No one 
trying to survive defeat. That's how you develop character. No touching. One potato, two potato, three potato, blam! I agree with that. If that's all you got, maybe I'm not talking enough. Well, this sort of catastrophe, it's the only time really that um, the US government are actually going to work together as a team. The rest of the time they'll probably spend arguing amongst each other. Right. Okay, we're going to work out probably around about 4,000 points before we start going down the lift here. Because we want to get to the box. Right. So I'll show you where the box is. It's not... Oh! Who needs ammo when you have a looks like mine? I'm getting quite angry now, so... Oh. One thing I will mention, before you go down the lift here, you want to make sure you've got ammunition in your gun here, because else you're going to be struggling later on, possibly. Make sure you build the barricades up, because you can allocate them out per level. somewhere that's not used. I need that zombie there. There's an expression in the game that people use regarding crawlers. Now to get a crawler you need to hand grenade hand grenade them. I'll, sh I'll see if I can show you with this zombie, see if it does it. They don't always do it, but sometimes it kills them. But if you throw a hand grenade down, watch it, look, see if it blows his legs off. There he goes, you get a crawler. So later on in the levels, when you get when you get with your friends and that, you can go around the levels. So you get a zombie, you get a crawler, and you can kill them with a knife. Right. That's how you get crawlers, basically. It enables your friends to run around the map, actually rearm their guns, and the such like. Now you notice now I've got about 3,300 points, whatever. I need a few more, really, because there's some stuff you need to open up on this next level. Now on this game, there's two levels, because you've got the lift shaft, so you can go up and down the lift here. So you can escape zombies through the lift. Try and shoot them in the head if you can, as, as normal. Ooh, there's another one there. As I say again, I'm not the best of shots. I don't claim to be. When you get the ammo box, just make sure you rearm your pistol first because you get more ammunition, you get max ammo then. That's if you go with, with an empty That's magazine and you get like uh, the ammunition, you lose a mags full. That's another good tip. I want your blood and I want your vote. Did you see that, did you, anyone? Until the heads Damn are disappearing. It. Take your time and shoot them. Now I've got 5,800 points now at level 5. Plus, plus a machine gun. That's the end of the level. I've got ammunition on me. I'm going down the escalator, going down the elevator, and I've got 5,850 points. Now I'm going to run down here. Get into here. Let's go down the lift. Right, I'm going to show you, try and show you the boxes now. I'm rushing for it a little bit. I'll show you with the boxes. Right. It was normally in here. Oh no, it's moved. It actually moves each each level. It moves, so each time you play it, in other words, it's not always in the same place, which is a bit of a pain, so. The 
power is around here somewhere. So what we need to do is we need to keep on up to the box. Well this is uh, this is the level below the, uh, the elevator. This is quite far down and we shouldn't be this far really. These things, these things will disintory at you if they go. It's probably going to die in there. That's it. That's how you do it at the start of the game, basically. So that should help you. I know I rushed it a little bit at the end, trying to, trying to find the box. Uh, but that's the price you pay for rushing through. But that gives you a little good start to the game. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again.